So we have a quadratic equation now. So what do you prefer to use in solving this equation? Okay, let's use quadratic formula. Okay, so we have, what is our A? 1. Okay, and the B is equal to 4 and our C is equal to negative 96. Now, let's find the value of our W. We have negative B, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of what is our what is the value of our B? Yes, 4. So we have 16 minus 4. What is our A? 1. And our C is, is negative 96. Very good. Now it's over 2 times 1. So W is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. Okay, square root of 16 plus. Okay, that's a big number. 384. All over 2. So we have. We have negative. 4 plus or minus the square root of 2, oh no, sorry, we have 400 all over 2. So our W is equal to negative 4 plus 20 all over 2 and W is equal to negative 4 minus 20 all over 2. So we have W here value of W here is 16 over 2 which is equals to 8. Another one, negative 4 minus 20 is negative 24 over 2, negative 12. Now, why negative 12 is not possible to be the width? Yes, Erwin. Very good, because distance can't be negative. Okay, so we'll just consider the value of width as positive, which is positive. So, the value of our width is 8 meters, and the value of our length is 8 plus 4 is equals to 12 meters. Okay. Do you understand class? Do you have any question? None? Okay, very good. Can I erase the writings on the board? Okay. Now for your next activity, the class will be divided into five groups. Yellow, green, red, orange, and blue. There are different colors under your chairs which determines your groups. So at the count of five, please proceed with your group mates. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, the activity is entitled Clash of Groups. Before I introduce the activity, I need one representative from each group to get the materials in front. Okay? Please get this one. Uh, please form a circle and please read the directions of our game. Do you have any question, class? None? Okay, very good. Are you ready now, class? Okay, let's start. Okay, first equation. x squared plus 2x plus 1. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Please raise your boards. Very good. Everybody got the correct answer, which is? x equals negative 1. That's right. Another. x squared 
minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Time starts now. I forgot. Okay. Time's up. Okay. Orange team got the correct answer. Green team got the correct answer. And blue team got the correct answer. Very good. X number 3. We have x squared minus x minus 30 equals 0. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. Okay, the answer is x equals 6 and x equals negative 5. Okay, green team got the correct answer. Red team got the correct answer. Also, blue and orange got the correct answer. Very good. Number 4, x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. x equals negative 4. Yellow got the correct answer. Green team got the correct answer. Red team got the correct answer. And also, orange team got the correct answer. Very good. Now, number 5, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. x equals negative 2. Okay, congrats. All teams got the correct answer. Number 6, we have x squared minus 3x plus 40 equals 0. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. x equals 8 and negative 5. Green team got the correct answer. Orange team got the correct answer. Very good. Okay, number 7, we have... 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. You have 15 seconds to answer this question. Okay? Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. Okay, green team got the correct answer. Orange team got the correct answer. And also blue team got the correct answer. So, x equals negative one half and x equals negative one okay number eight we have four x squared plus four x plus one equals zero okay time starts now Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. Congrats. Yellow team, you got the correct answer. Also, green and red team got the correct answer. X equals negative one half. Number nine. We have 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. Okay. We have, these are the teams who got the correct answer. Yellow team, green team, red team, and orange team. Very good. X equals negative one-third and X equals negative two. Okay, for the last question, you have, tw you have 20 seconds to answer. Okay. Family Cortez has a 63 square meter rectangular lot intended for building their dream house. The length of the rectangular lot is 2 meter more than the width. What is the length and the width of the lot? Okay, you have 20 seconds. Time starts now. Okay, time's up. Raise your boards. Very good. Everybody got the correct answer. So, um, 
yellow team got six points so they will have 12 points because we multiply it by two green team got 10 so they will have 20 points they got the correct the perfect score red team got seven points times two equals 14 orange team got nine so they will have 18 points and blue team got six times two they have 12 points plus now what have you learned today's discussion class yes april all right so how do we determine if our answers are correct yes tyron very good quadratic equation can also use in real life situation problems why okay yes rex excellent How about with your group activity what did you learn okay please share annabelle now go back to your seats and prepare a one-half sheet of paper crosswise for our last activity so you don't need to copy the problems just i just need the solutions in your papers so you'll do this activity in 15 minutes let's check your activity exchange papers with your seatmates number one so it says that find two consecutive even integers whose product is 80. So our product is 80. So if we say even integers, it is divisible by 2. So if we have 2, the other one is 4. So we just add 2 on the other pro and the other number right so let's uh imagine or let let the other number would be our x so first number our first and our second would be x plus two okay so we have x times x plus two is equal to 80 so we have x squared plus 2x equals to 80. Transpose 80 on the other side. We already have our quadratic equation. Okay? Let's try solving this through quadratic formula. Then x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 4 minus 4 what is our a 1 times c which is negative 80 so all over 2 times 1 so our x is equal to negative 2 of course plus or minus the square root of what what 324 all over 2, of course. Then x equals negative 2 plus or minus 18 all over 2. So we have x equals negative 20 all over 2, which is x equals negative 10. And x equals negative 2 plus 18 all over 2. Or we have 8. So we have two possible answers, but we'll just consider the positive answer. So our x is equal to 8, and the second number is equal to 10. Does it satisfy our product? Yes. Both numbers are given, and they are consecutive. Another one, if you, their product is 80. Because 8 times 10 is equal to 80. Okay? Number correct answer. Okay, almost 80% of the class. So, 
To those who got the wrong answer, where do you bend? Ah, okay. So, ah, the square root of 324. Just check it. Just If you are thinking of a square root of a number, just try it first. For example, 18 times 18. So we can check if our answer is correct. Ah, okay. Here, you forgot to include the other sign. Okay? Just be careful next time. Okay? But uh, they are just uh, simple mistakes. Alright, please be careful on our next activity or in your next exam. Okay, let's go to number two. A student is painting an accent wall in his room where the length of the room is three feet more than its width. The wall has an area of 100 square feet. 130 square feet, the area. And the length is 3 meters more than the width. So we have our width and 3 meet length as W plus 3 since, is, since it is 3 meters more than our width. So we have W plus 3 times W is equal to 130. So we have W squared plus 3W plus 130 is equal to C. Now, try to use the factoring method. We have, the product is negative 130. We have 13 and negative 10. Okay. Does it give us a... Uh, a sum of 3w, yes, 13 minus 10 is 3. So we have w plus 13 equals 0, then w is equal to negative 13, and w minus 10 equals 0, then w is equal to positive 10. So like what we did in our example, we only consider our positive distance, which is 10 meters. So we have... 10 meters as our width, and 13 meters as our length. Got the correct answer, class. Wow, very good. Everybody got the correct answer. Here assignment, research about Geta's formulas in determining the sum and the product of the solutions or the roots. Okay, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Goodbye class.